Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is for the sign of Cancer. Now this is for sun signs and rising signs. I don't include the moon signs. If you want to know why, you can check out my welcome video. Now this may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, it just wasn't meant to be. All right. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment, and I will zoom this in correctly once we're done laying out the cards. I do consider all the reversals. I just don't reverse them, but with every reading I consider them. As you will see as you watch my readings, they're not all peaches and cream. All right, I'm just gonna make sure this is zoomed in correctly. The basis of your reading is the Knight of Cups. I think that probably represents you, Cancer. I think many of you have love on the mind, okay? I feel like um, many of you are dealing with a Leo. It could be an Aries or a Sagittarius. I think you're reminiscing about the past. I think there's been some conflicts and you just don't want them anymore. I think you're trying to move away from the conflict. There could have been some deceit in your life and you're trying to move away from that deceit it feels like there was an obsession all right there's an obsession somewhere could be an obsession to money could be an obsession to something else but there's definitely an obsession and there's a huge need for forgiveness here okay so for many of you you guys need to forgive a situation um, and I think it has to do with love all right I think there's been some hurt there's been some sadness um, maybe you have some regrets or you've been rejected. Perhaps somebody didn't um, uh, want the commitment that you did or they weren't committed as you were. You know, they weren't as committed as you were to a relationship. And you probably are feeling quite deceived at this time. Now, uh, I want to remind you that the time is fluid. This could have happened already. This could be happening this week or it could be happening in the near future. I think many of you are feeling very insecure in your relationship and I think that it's time to broaden your horizons, okay? I feel like there's a lot of conflicts going on. There is, and a need to forgive, all right? I think both ways, there's a need for forgiveness in both directions from you and your partner. But I do believe you are reminiscing about the past. Um, I do, we do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. We have you and we have Cancer and Scorpio. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I, I do see there's a lot of strife. There's strife right now and insecurity. We do have three fives, five, five, five. Appears to me like um, there's a ma some major life choices or changes that are, that need to happen, okay? When you see five, 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 it means something needs to change. All right, this is for the sign of cancer. And I think you guys know exactly what that is. Um, something needs to change. And if you don't know what it is, when you see 555, it's probably going to happen anyway. Okay, it looks like change is on the horizon. Um, and I, this, I really need to tell you that you need to have courage and confidence. You need to act on your hunches. And you look, need to look at something from another perspective. You may need to refocus. I think many of you probably will need to take some time to refocus this week. Maybe go within. It's a time of introspection. You know, time to reevaluate your future, reevaluate your plan. I think there's been some resistance to change. And perhaps now you're starting to realize that change is on the horizon. I think that somebody is, has been very, very, very hurt. Now, I'm not sure who this is that's watching this, but somebody that is watching this has been through a lot of heartache, a lot, and they, they feel rejected, okay? And they feel rejected because somebody didn't, what didn't honor their commitment, okay? They didn't, they weren't really committed when they said they were, okay? 
and I think um, it's, it, it may have hurt your, your pride. I think your pride may be hurt because, you know, you feel like you were deceived, all right? Um, there is a, a lot of instability here, and I think that is is calling for you to to have courage and confidence and um, bring out your inner strength to get through this. You're going to have to you are going to have to use your inner strength to get through whatever a deceit that has happened to you. Um, it looks like you need to refocus. So I think many of you are refocusing this week. Um, coming up with another plan, deciding on something new. I see that there could be a new discovery for some of you. You could um, I'm just looking at all these cards. There is a new discovery. There's a new discovery where you change your focus. I mean that's what it is. Where you decide to just change your plans. Like you know what? You go in, you reevaluate and you're like I, I can't. I, I, it's time for a change. Okay, that's what I see. Um, I'm just going to start shuffling. I am shuffling for the next pull. Um, I see that many of you are going through uh, an awakening. Okay, you're having a wake-up call or you've just had a wake-up call. Something has become known. There's been a discovery and you've decided, you know what, it's, it's time. It's time for a change. I can't sit here and wait for something to happen that's not happening. Okay. I think there's been a lot of conflicts and a lot of tension and a lot of insecurity which has caused you to have this awakening. And you're saying, you know what, I'm just, I'm ready to start over, I'm ready to start new, I can't do this anymore. Okay? Yeah, you're mastering your emotions and moving on. This is you, Cancer, it's the chariot. Many of you are letting something end. It's over, and you know that it's over, and you're just letting it go. This is the death card. I see a major transformation for many of you. You are. You're moving on. You can't do it anymore. You've decided. All of a sudden, it was like a quick decision. It was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. There's been too much conflict. There's been too much tension. I'm too. There's been too much insecurity. There was deceit and lies, and, you know, this really hurt. It really hurt, and it's time for me to move on. I have to go. All right, I have to go. With the chariot and the death card here, it says that something is ended. It was something was a false foundation. It needed to end. Okay, something needed to end so that something new can begin. It's it's a time of rebirth for you. It's a time of transformation. This week could be the beginning, especially with the wheel of fortune. It's time to start a new chapter in your life. It means good luck is on its way. I see that you've been through strife. I see that you've been through conflict and tension and instability and some lies. Somebody has lied to you, and you know they haven't. They, the commitment didn't work out. They weren't as committed as you were. But I think that you had you you know you are um, sucking it up. You know, you're sucking it up because I think your pride was hurt very, very badly, you know, and I think that you're just like, wow, you're going to hold your head up high and you're going to head right out of this situation for many of you. You're moving away from the lies and deceit and the obsession. I think that, I mean, we had the four of pentacles twice now. There's a clear obsession. Many of you, this could have to do with money or it could have to do with another person. Somebody could have been obsessed with you or you could be, have been obsessed with another person. And this is this tells me that um, you have been resisting. You have been resisting this change. You've been resisting moving on. You have been resisting this ending. But now you can't resist it anymore. It's just been too much. You're still not getting what you de what you desire. Okay, the instability is still here. The insecurity is still here. The conflict is still here. The heartache is still here. And it's time for it to be over so that you can start over again. This is the death card. It's time for you to start over again. Master your emotions. Put yourself back in the driver's seat and move on. Now this is a love reading. You guys, this is the this is the Eight of Cups. Many of you that are watching this are leaving a situation that you were emotionally connected to deeply. You thought that the other person was committed was as committed as you were. You thought that they were being honest 
You didn't think that they were being deceitful. And it hurts your pride. Okay? It hurts your pride. Here's your pride. Okay? And it takes strength. It takes strength to walk away. This is the Eight of Cups. This is a different deck. Eights. I do a lot of numerology in my readings, as many of you already know. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. The time is right now, and you guys already know this. For many of you watching this, you know it's time to move on. You know it. You know it's been unstable. You know it's been insecure. You know there's been tension. You know there's been lies and deceit. You are hurt, and you have been resisting this. You've been praying and begging for it to work out. But now, with the death card, it's over. It's at the end. It's time to move on. It's time for you to start over. Okay? It is. And I think many of you this week are actually going to be starting over. All right? You are. And you're starting over because you're looking for true love. It takes strength to start over. It takes courage. It takes confidence. And it takes discipline. Okay? I think for many of you, your ego, your pride has been hurt because of the rejection. Because of the, the deceit. Because of the lies. That, and you were obsessed with this person. And you didn't want the change because you were comfortable and you loved them. But I see that many of you, there's an ending here, and you are about to start a new chapter of your life. Believe it or not, good fortune is on the way. It is on the way. The wheel is spinning in your favor. As soon as you master your emotions and move away from this negative situation. Now this won't resonate with all, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I feel like many of you have been resisting this change for quite a while with that Four of Pentacles twice. You have been resisting it. You didn't want to let it go. You know, it was your security. It was your security. And to let that go, it hurts. It hurts to let it go. It hurts that this person was not as committed as you were. But I think that many of you have taken the time to reevaluate and refocus. And you realize that it's time. You realize that it's time to start at the bottom again, brand new. So for many of you, you're starting over, okay? All right? Perhaps a new love is going to enter your life. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. could be another uh, it could be a cancer scorpio pisces could be a taurus virgo capricorn all right but i see that many of you are resisting this change or you were you were but i think maybe this week you're finally going to go through that transformation that is needed the chariot and the death card a transformation is here the time is now right now for you to spin the wheel. It's destiny. Everything happens for a reason. The wheel is destiny. I think it was a lesson that was hard, that was learned hard, the hard way. Okay? Probably it was, something happened and it was quite hasty and brash. Okay? Caused a lot of conflicts. There's been a lot of conflicts in your life. And like I said, insecurity, instability, tension. And I think that now is a time of transformation and rebirth. All you have to do is let go of the obsession, okay? Bring, bring back your inner strength. Use your strength to get through this. Master your emotions. Above all, master your emotions, okay? I think many of you, it's time to leave a situation that no longer serves you. Because there is another choice. There is another choice in the future where there will be stability and there will be security. But you have to move on first.
If you resist the change, then then new love can't come in. You have to ex embrace the change instead of resisting the change. You need to let it end. Let it end. Stop resisting the change. Resisting, resisting the end. You are been resisting the end. And now it's time to master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat and move on and let new love come for you. Let, let new love come in. Let this transformation happen. Refocus on your path. Let the wheel spin. Oh boy, look at that. Is that perfect or what? Oh. Be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Like I said, it's time to let it end. Release the guilt. Release the obsession. Release the conflicts. Release the insecurity. And start anew. It's time for a transformation, Cancer. The time is right now. Right now with these eights. The time is now. Talk to you later.